Yo, what's up guys? Today we have iOS 14.6 beta 3 released to all developers. And in today's video, we'll go ahead and get this new beta installed onto our device and see what's new. Okay, so going over the more finer details of today's update and the size was 345 megabytes for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So a fairly small update here. And of course we have a new build number as well. That's 18F5065. A. And as far as modem firmware goes, that is actually uh, changed to 1.70.00. Now, as far as the build number having that letter A at the end, that means we're dealing with a much more stable build here. And it might actually be one of the last builds that we receive here in the beta process for iOS 14.6, which would actually make sense uh, because we have iOS 15 betas coming within the next month, um, beta one. So we'll go ahead and see exactly how long the beta process here takes for iOS 14.6, but that A does indicate that we are dealing with a much more stable build. Okay, so moving on to the update here, and obviously as we've explained before, iOS 14.6 isn't going to be bringing those flashy new features that we all want to see. Those are going to be reserved for iOS 15 specifically, which should be previewed at WWDC in just about a month or so. Now, with that being said, iOS 14.6 will be bringing features like Apple Card Family and also uh, some changes to the podcast app as well. Now, what we saw in this latest beta version is more references to privacy features and new features in some apps that Apple has been working on. So we saw some privacy and tracking information when opening up the App Store app, and then also some more references to podcast subscriptions and podcast channels when we opened up the podcast app specifically. So speaking of the podcast app, we have yet to see the subscription program that we saw with the spring loaded event. Um, that has not come to the podcast app just yet, but from beta two, I can say that the podcast app experience has greatly improved here. In beta two, the podcast app was extremely buggy and there were a ton of issues going on uh, with downloads not being deleted, uh, the podcast app was downloading things that I didn't want downloaded. Uh, the app was crashing and everything like that. That is not going on here in beta three and things to be, things seem to be a lot more smooth as if we were dealing with an official release here uh, for the podcast app specifically. Now, some other changes or more specifically, I guess, fixes that have been made here in beta three were to the performance of playing media to speakers like the HomePod and HomePod mini. I was actually having some real major issues uh, with lags and also flat out connection issues with the HomePod, uh, HomePod devices in my household on beta two, but it looks like that has actually been solved here in beta three. And it also seems like it works a lot faster than what I was experiencing running the official version of iOS 14.5. Now in reference to that, um, AirPlay was having a bit of an issue. I noticed on the first couple of betas here, um, AirPlay now seems to be working fine, but it's actually uh, the longevity of AirPlay working, which I'm concerned with. In beta one and beta two, um, it would work for maybe one or two YouTube videos, but then like on the third, fourth, it kind of mess up and I'd have some serious issues with AirPlay. And that goes to the same with uh, kind of airplaying uh, movies or not really movies, just content from websites. So hopefully that is fixed here in beta three. I'll provide you guys an update on if AirPlay is working 100% here in beta three, uh, maybe on Twitter or something like that. Uh, but I was having issues with AirPlay play in beta one and beta two seems like so far hasn't really been an issue here in beta three. So fingers crossed that stays the same. Now, there are some uh, performance bugs that people were having in uh, beta one and beta two. Those seem to be fixed now in beta three, but one major issue that I'm having is actually in battery performance. So when I go to the battery performance uh, menu, I notice that in beta two, my uh, performance or my overall capabilities drop from 100% to 99, which is fairly normal, I guess, since I've been using the iPhone 12 Pro Max since day one of its release. But what's really odd is now in beta three, when I update just a week later, I'm at 98%. So there might be a bug here in uh, the calculation of um, battery life degradation. I'm not quite sure, um, but guys, don't be worried about that. It's not that big of a deal, but I noticed just 
two percentage points within the past two weeks that's very odd um, when it comes to battery degradation in an iPhone. So hopefully that's not a permanent issue. Hopefully that's just something that's software related, but I just wanted to let you guys know because that is something you guys ask about quite regularly. Just wanted to let you guys know. As far as battery life and performance goes, everything seems to be about the same as what we're seeing in beta two. So nothing really new going on there. We're just kind of fixing up a few bugs here and there um, and also performance issues. And that's pretty much going to be this iOS 14.6 update. I don't want to lure you guys into thinking that um, there's going to be major new features coming in the next couple betas. Those are going to be reserved for iOS 15. So guys, that was the third developer beta of iOS 14.6. And of course, if you have any questions about this specific release, you can always leave those questions in the comment section down below. I'd love to answer those for you guys. Now, if you want to update this beta and uh, update to this beta and you don't know how, check the links down below. There's a way to get a developer beta profile onto your device. So you can check that out um, as well. And also a quick update. There's also a new public beta version available for iOS 14.6 beta three. So if you're interested in the public beta program, uh, you can go and uh, apply for that program. It's beta.apple.com. So guys, thank you all for watching today's video and we'll hopefully be catching you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching Updated on YouTube. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some of our other things that we have going on, check the links down in the video description below. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week talking about everything going on in the world of tech. So again, thank you all for watching today's video, and we hope to see you in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.